NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. More mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. If you're following stuff about aliens and about UFOs and what U.S. lawmakers are saying about all of this, they do exist. They have come from some other planet. But instead of just asking where they come from, do you think we should be asking when? Across the vast expanse of space, 7 trillion miles from Earth, the James Webb Telescope has detected something astonishing. Lights on Proxima Centauri, B, that bear a striking resemblance to city lights. Could this be the breakthrough we've long awaited? Evidence of extraterrestrial life? Or is the cosmos deceiving us once again? This discovery has the potential to reshape our understanding of our place in the universe. Are we truly alone? Or is someone out there watching? The future of humanity extends far beyond our planet, and we are now one step closer to answering one of our oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Is there another planet that's very close to Earth, similar to us, where there could be a civilization? To believe that we're the only one is, I think, rather ridiculous, but given the odds, if we crave some cosmic purpose, then let us find ourselves a worthy goal. Faint traces of extraterrestrial life. Picture gazing into the night sky and spotting a tiny speck of light. But what if that light wasn't from a distant star or galaxy? What if it belonged to an advanced civilization illuminating their world? This intriguing possibility has been raised by one of the James Webb Space Telescope's most remarkable findings. JWSD has detected lights similar to those seen in cities on Earth. The source? Proxima Centauri b a rocky exoplanet located approximately four light years away. This planet isn't just any distant rock floating in space. It orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star known for its unpredictability. Solar flares from the star can be so intense that they might strip planets of their atmospheres. But Proxima Centauri b is in what scientists call the habitable zone, where conditions could support liquid water. It's also tidally locked meaning one side faces eternal daylight while the other remains shrouded in darkness. This makes the idea of city-like lights on the planet's dark side even more tantalizing and mysterious. Now, these lights weren't spotted casually. JWST's advanced infrared capabilities allowed it to pick up subtle glimmers from the dark side of Proxima Centauri b. The lights appear to have a unique thermal signature. Unlike anything observed on other rocky planets, some scientists theorize that these lights might be artificial, potential evidence of advanced alien technology. However, and this is important, no one is rushing to conclusions. There's also the possibility that they result from natural phenomena, such as reflective minerals or rare atmospheric conditions. Now, let's discuss the key players in this discovery. Dr. David Kipping, an astronomer at Columbia University, has emphasized the significance of this finding. He described Proxima Centauri b as particularly complex, noting that its distinctive thermal behavior sets it apart from other exoplanets. According to Kipping, JWST's ability to detect such faint glimmers shows just how advanced our technology has become, but it also raises bigger questions. If these lights are artificial, who or what is behind them? Here's where things get even more intriguing. The team working on this discovery has been cautious in their analysis, but whispers of more unusual data have started circulating in the scientific community. Allegedly, a few independent researchers claimed the lights flicker in a way that suggests a power grid-like pattern. While this is yet to be confirmed, it's already fueling debates about what might be happening on Proxima Centauri b. Could this be the first real indication of extraterrestrial life? Or are we just seeing the universe's ability to surprise us? Even NASA engineers, typically known for their calm and methodical approach, are reportedly abuzz with excitement over this. Some insiders hint that the JWST has detected additional anomalies in Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere, including fluctuations that could suggest signs of industrial activity. While these findings are still under review, the very possibility has stirred both enthusiasm and debate. It's also important to consider the broader context. Proxima Centauri b isn't the only exoplanet drawing attention, but at the moment, it's the most captivating. 
at roughly 25 trillion miles or just four light years away, it remains tantalizingly close in cosmic terms. This proximity means that future telescopes, like the extremely large telescope set to begin operations in 2028, could provide even more detailed observations. If JWST has found something that's compelling, what else could be waiting in the dark corners of Proxima Centauri b? Now, if these lights are truly artificial, what does that say about the beings who created them? Could they be far more advanced than us? Or are they just like us, sending their own telescopes into the cosmos, hoping to make contact? And more importantly, are we ready for what we might find? Let's take a closer look at Proxima Centauri b. If Earth had a cosmic twin with a bold personality, this might be it. This rocky world orbits Proxima Centauri, a dim red dwarf, and lies within the so-called Goldilocks zone, where conditions could be just right for life. But there's a challenge. Proxima Centauri is far from a calm and gentle star. Known for its intense solar flares, it has the potential to strip away planetary atmospheres in the blink of an eye. Yet, Proxima Centauri be hangs on and scientists believe it could still support liquid water thanks to its unique position. Its orbit is incredibly tight, less than 5 million miles from its star, compared to Earth's 93 million miles from the Sun. This means Proxima Centauri b completes a full orbit in just 11 Earth days, 11 days. To put that in perspective, it's like celebrating your birthday every two weeks. What makes Proxima Centauri b even more intriguing is its tidal locking. One hemisphere is bathed in constant daylight, scorched by Proxima Centauri's intense glow, while the other remains trapped in endless darkness, frozen in an eternal shadow. Between these extremes lies a narrow twilight zone, possibly a habitable refuge, if life exists there. But here's where things take a bizarre turn. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected lights on the planet's dark side, where only perpetual night should prevail. Could this mean some kind of civilization thrives in the shadows, harnessing life for survival? Or is there a natural explanation we haven't considered yet? Adding to the drama, some researchers have suggested that Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere, if it even has one, might hold secrets that could rewrite our understanding of habitability. Early data indicates temperature swings so extreme that they would make Earth's worst weather look like a calm summer day. Without an atmosphere to regulate heat, the daylight side could reach searing temperatures, while the night side freezes solid. But here's the twist. Certain thermal patterns detected by JWSD hint at something stabilizing these extremes. Then there's the controversy surrounding Proxima Centauri b's potential to harbor life. Critics argue that the constant bombardment of radiation from its star makes the planet inhospitable. Others point to its unique orbit suggesting that Proxima Centauri b might generate a magnetic field strong enough to shield itself from radiation. Allegedly, preliminary studies have found faint signals that could indicate magnetic activity, but the jury is still out. If confirmed, it would be a game-changer, opening up the possibility of a stable environment on this enigmatic world. And let's not overlook the hint of something even more enigmatic. Some astronomers have observed unusual fluctuations in the planet's thermal emissions, sparking intrigue within the scientific community. These emissions deviate from what one would anticipate from a lifeless, rocky world. Instead, they resemble the heat signatures typically associated with large-scale energy generation. Though no conclusions have been drawn yet, this is where the James Webb Space Telescope takes center stage, the protagonist of this cosmic mystery. With a price tag of over $10 billion and technology decades ahead of its time, this isn't just any telescope. It's humanity's greatest eye in the sky. Stationed nearly 1 million miles from Earth at a gravitational sweet spot called Lagrange Point 2, JWST is designed to peer into the furthest reaches of the universe. But its true power lies in its ability to pick up faint infrared signals. Signals like the glimmers on Proxima Centauri b. Here's how it works. The JWST features a massive, gold-coated mirror over 21 feet wide, designed to collect light. This light then passes through a series of filters and instruments, breaking it down into its fundamental components, similar to analyzing the DNA of a star or planet, layer by layer. 
When JWSD focused its instruments on Proxima Centauri b, it observed more than just light. It detected something far more intriguing, flickering lights on the planet's night side. These were identified through their unique infrared signatures. Since infrared light corresponds to heat, every object emits a distinct thermal fingerprint. What's unusual, however, is that the lights on Proxima Centauri b don't resemble anything we've encountered before. They don't match the glow of lava flows or the reflection of ice. Instead, they exhibit patterns that some scientists suggest could be consistent with artificial light sources. But let's be clear. This is a hypothesis, not a confirmation. NASA's lead scientist on the JWST project, Dr. Heidi Hamill, described the discovery as one of the most perplexing data sets they've encountered. According to her, the team has ruled out several natural explanations, but they're still exploring other possibilities. Could it be an atmospheric phenomenon or perhaps a type of mineral deposit reflecting light in unusual ways? The truth is no one knows for sure, and that uncertainty is driving both excitement and skepticism within the scientific community. Meanwhile, rumors have surfaced about additional findings from JWST's observations of Proxima Centauri b. Allegedly, the telescope picked up faint chemical signatures in the planet's atmosphere that could indicate industrial processes. Scientists have reportedly detected compounds such as chlorofluorocarbons, which are typically linked to human activity on Earth. If confirmed, this would mark a groundbreaking discovery. However, until the data is verified, it remains an intriguing possibility that has ignited intense debate among astronomers. The intrigue doesn't stop there. Behind the scenes, tensions are mounting between NASA and independent researchers demanding access to JWST's raw data. Some accuse NASA of withholding information, fueling speculation and conspiracy theories about what the agency might be keeping secret. Though no evidence supports these claims, they underscore the immense public fascination with the telescope's findings. After all, if JWST has detected signs of extraterrestrial life, it would be the most significant revelation in human history, reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Just when it seemed the story of Proxima Centauri we couldn't get any more compelling, new discoveries are pushing the search for life beyond Earth into uncharted territory, challenging everything we thought we knew. Let's dive into what makes this era of space exploration so groundbreaking. For decades, Astronomers focused on finding exoplanets that were Earth-like, rocky worlds orbiting stars similar to our Sun. These planets, they assumed, would have the best chance of supporting life. But recent discoveries have shifted that perspective. Planets orbiting red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are now considered prime targets, even though these stars are smaller and cooler than the Sun. Why the shift? Red dwarf stars are the most common type of star in the universe, making up about 70% of all stars. This means that planets orbiting them are statistically more likely to exist. Plus, red dwarfs live for billions, sometimes trillions of years, giving life plenty of time to develop and evolve. But there's a twist. These stars are also prone to violent flares, which can strip away a planet's atmosphere and make life as we know it nearly impossible. This brings us back to Proxima Centauri b. Despite the challenging conditions imposed by its parent star, the planet's distinct features have sparked significant scientific interest. Thermal patterns observed by the JWST indicate that something, potentially an atmosphere, is regulating the drastic temperature differences between its day and night sides. But it gets even more intriguing. Some researchers speculate that this atmosphere might not be entirely natural. Allegedly, certain data points hint at the possibility of artificial structures or processes contributing to the stabilization. Now, before we get carried away, let's be clear, this is not confirmed. Scientists are still debating whether the anomalies are due to advanced technology or simply geological quirks. But the mere possibility has sparked a flurry of activity in the scientific community. Teams around the world are racing to analyze the data with some even proposing new missions to get a closer look at Proxima Centauri b. One such proposal comes from Breakthrough Starshot, a project backed by Russian billionaire Yuri Milner and the late Stephen Hawking. 
The plan is to send tiny spacecraft, powered by lasers, hurtling toward Proxima Centauri at a fifth of the speed of light. If successful, these probes could reach the star in just over 20 years, providing the first-ever close-up images of an exoplanet. The idea sounds like science fiction, but the team behind it insists it's feasible. And, if they're right, we could soon have answers to questions that have haunted humanity for centuries. Challenges and Future Prospects The quest to uncover the secrets of the universe isn't without its obstacles. Despite incredible advances in technology, scientists face a daunting array of challenges, from technical limitations to political and ethical questions. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a glimpse of what's possible, but it's also highlighted just how much work lies ahead. Let's start with the technical side. While JWST's infrared capabilities are unmatched, they're not perfect. The telescope can only observe a limited number of exoplanets due to its specific orbit and design. Then there's the issue of funding. Space exploration is expensive. JWST alone costs over $10 billion, and not every government is willing to invest in the search for extraterrestrial life. This has led to increased reliance on private funding from billionaires like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Yuri Milner. While their contributions have accelerated progress, they also raise questions about the privatization of space. Who gets to decide how we explore the cosmos? And what happens if we discover something extraordinary, like intelligent life? Will it belong to humanity as a whole or to the entities that funded the discovery? Ethical dilemmas loom large in the search for extraterrestrial life. If we discover evidence of life on another planet, what should our next step be? Some scientists advocate for observing from afar, ensuring we respect the autonomy of any alien civilizations. Others argue that we have a moral duty to establish contact, fostering the exchange of knowledge and resources across the cosmos. However, what if such contact sparks conflict? History offers many examples of civilizations colliding, often with turbulent outcomes. Despite these uncertainties, the future of space exploration remains more promising than ever. New missions are already in the works, including the European Space Agency's Aerial Telescope, which will launch in the early 2030s to study the atmospheres of 1,000 exoplanets. Meanwhile, NASA's proposed Habitable Worlds Observatory aims to directly image Earth-like planets around nearby stars, a feat that would have been unthinkable just a few decades ago. So as we look to the future, one thing is clear. The search for life isn't just about finding aliens. It's about exploring our place in the universe and challenging the limits of what we once believed possible. What do you think? Are we on the verge of finding alien life? Or is Proxima Centauri be just another unsolved cosmic puzzle? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you're as fascinated by the unknown as we are, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more astonishing discoveries. The universe holds countless secrets, and we're only beginning our journey. Stay tuned for what's to come.